What's up my rosebuds? It's Alexa and welcome back to my channel. So I don't know about you guys, but I will always and forever be a fan of Urban Outfitters. I just really love their style and just everything that's inside the store, like the decor, the clothes, the shoes, like literally everything. Urban Outfitters will probably be my most favorite store forever and always. One thing though that I am not a fan of is their prices. They are pretty expensive, especially for the pieces that you could basically find at a thrift store for two to three dollars. However, because everything inside of Urban is mass produced, they sell it for $50, $60 and it it does hurt the wallet a little. So that's basically what today's video is going to be about. I'll be showing you guys some pieces that are Urban Outfitters inspired but not inspired by the price tag. So you could basically get the same style and the same vibe but just at a more affordable price. By the way, all the items I will be featuring in this video are from Zaful. I'll put all the proper links down in the description box so you guys can go ahead and check that out. Also, if you guys are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe down below and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on the next time that I post. And there are a lot of items to get through so let's jump right into this haul. So the first item I'm going to show you guys is this plaid skirt. You guys have probably seen this everywhere on social media, especially because the 90s have been trending for like the past three years. This skirt is $22 on Zafool. The ones on Urban Outfitters are $50, which is pretty pricey for a skirt, to be honest. I really like the quality of this one. It is a little bit more expensive than some of the other skirts on their website, but I feel like it's worth $22. I don't think it's worth $50. That's just my opinion. But honestly, like, look, if you guys shop at Urban Outfitters, full retail price then you guys got money this video is just for the people that like the style and don't want to break the bank like me so now this hoodie is not from the Urban Outfitters website, but as you guys know, like just anything rose printed or rose embroidered has been very, very popular and it might be dying out soon, but I still feel like it's pretty trendy. So I picked out this hoodie and it has the print on the hood and it has it down the sleeves, which I am obsessing over, not only because like I really like roses, but because it is still really cute. So this hoodie is $27 and I just like it because it has so much rose detail, maybe just because I'm obsessed with roses and it's literally Really roses everywhere like come on urban has a lot of these type of printed hoodies so this is pretty similar to stuff that they have on their website and in their stores all right let's do some accessories so I picked up this beret which is actually sold out on the Zafool website also a lot of their berets are under $10 so I'm just gonna say this is $10 on the urban outfitters website their berets are going for $30 which is three times as much as the ones from Zafool this one's not leather or anything this is kind of like a brushed suede velvet type of material. What are you doing? <laughs> the only bad thing about this is that Oliver can like jump and be in the background whenever he pleases. So if you guys see him just walking around and huffing and puffing, then I'm sorry. I also picked up this gold cross necklace, which is really cute. It kind of resembles a rosary, but just in gold. This isn't a dupe to anything that's on the Urban Outfitters website right now, but I know they have these kind of pieces, like a lot of the gold coin pieces. So I feel like this would totally fit on the Urban site. Um, this is sold out on Zafool though, but a lot of their necklaces similar to this are going for $4. I actually wore this out last night when I went to WeHo. I just like that it has that kind of, uh, bless you. But yeah, it's just a really tight fitted crop top and I paired it with some leather pants and I really liked my outfit. So did a lot of people, so. This also is not a dupe on the website, but I feel like it would fit on the site. This top is $18 on Zafool. Honestly, if there's one item that I would see forever and forever and forever at Urban Outfitters, it's their cardigans. They stay stocked up in cardigans. Let me tell you, like, I had to include a cardigan in this haul because their cardigans are like $80. So I found a similar one on the Zafool website, which is just this really big, slouchy, cable knit Cardi. Cardi. And this one's going for $36. If you guys don't want to drop $70, $80, which is basically like two pairs of shoes, then you guys know where to go for cardigans. So next up, I have these plaid pants. You guys have been seeing this gingham print a lot recently, especially for spring. And I know it's going to be really big in summer as well. These pants on Zafool are going for $21. And these are some high-waisted wide leg trousers, which to be honest, are a little big. This is a size small, but if you're a medium or large, definitely downsize because these are pretty big. Urban didn't have something exactly like this, but they did have some plaid wide leg pants that were going for roughly 60 to $70, which is like just as much as that cardigan. Like their favorite price point is like $60, I swear. So I know Urban has a wide range of sunglasses, so I definitely want to pick out a couple. Urban always just has funky sunglasses and I wanted to pick one that was pretty similar to something that they have. So I picked out these. They have pink rhinestones on them, pink lenses, and a pink frame, which I 
thought was totally fun and I felt that it was definitely something that they would have in their store. These are $7 whereas the ones that would be sold at Urban go for like $18. There's another pair of sunglasses. I totally lost them right before this video but I did take a picture in them so they're the ones that I'm wearing in this photo and they're just like cat eye glasses but they're half lens. They're so cool and I'm so bummed that I misplaced them. They're somewhere in my apartment but they're just not here for this video. Those are $7 as well and Quay has some on the Urban site that are for $55. Not exactly the same but they have the same style but yeah those are $50. Okay so I also picked out this hat which are those newsboy caps. Am I saying that right? I don't even know. It's just the hats that look like this. So this one was actually $39 on the Zafool website but however Brixton sells it for about $42 which is only $3 more than what the Zafool one is selling for so in this case, in this scenario, I would actually prefer to just buy the Brixton hat. This is actually good quality too, just letting you guys know. For $39, they put some work into it. So star earrings have been trending a lot recently in jewelry, so I thought it was perfect to pick these up. <laughs> but anyways, they're basically really simple hoop earrings, but they're shaped as stars, which I am obsessed over. These are only $3. There's nothing like this on the Urban site, but I feel like if it was on the website, it would be like $15. So I love them. I'm obsessed with these. Another pair of earrings that I have been obsessing over, I can't even tell you how many times I've worn this in the past week, but they're these thick hoop chain dangle earrings. And I have been wearing these a lot recently. I've probably worn them every single day. Urban doesn't have anything exactly like this where it's like, two hoops and it's dangly but I did check on the website and they do have a lot of really thick hoop earrings but they go for $18 and these are only $3 and these are pretty good quality because they're really thick and pretty heavy so I definitely recommend these I love them so so much the next item I wanted to show you guys is this checker jacket this checker jacket is $27 there's nothing on the Urban Outfitters website exactly like this but the checkered print is definitely definitely trending right now and is literally everywhere urban has a lot of checkered stuff on their website right now i feel like they would have this jacket if it was available to them yeah i mean this is under 30 dollars i like it obviously i'm wearing it right now so right now in long beach they're getting ready for the grand prix and all of our palm trees are decked out in checkered material so if you guys want to match with my palm trees and i I also picked out these cute little pins. So it's like a broken heart, but one side is a heart and the other side is a wine bottle. It's probably just one of like those best friend type of things where it's like wine is basically your heart. I don't know, <laughs> but I thought these were cute. These pins together as a pair is $3, whereas just one pin alone at Urban is $10. Like that is insane to me. You can't beat $3 for a cute set of pins. I feel like these striped shirts are really popular, especially in the men's area for Urban. So I definitely want to pick one out. This one is a striped shirt. It has DFNN on the front. I have no idea what that says, but I thought it was really cool because it's striped and then it also has the attached long sleeve shirt. This is $33 for a regular, just plain striped long sleeve shirt at Urban is about $38, which isn't that much more than this, but I like this because it kind of gives it that fake duo type of shirt. Hey, stop it. Get down. Down. Over. <sighs> Anyways, I feel like you're kind of getting more for this versus just like a plain striped long sleeve shirt so okay next we have this belt bag which i am loving right now because it's so cute and mini it's like the size of i want to say like a big wallet it's not just a regular fanny pack strap it's an actual belt so i like to wear it as a belt but well technically it's a belt bag so so i guess it is what it's called so but i just really like it i don't have anything like this i only have fanny packs right now it's not leather but it's some kind of plastic, but it's really soft, bendable plastic. Like, look. I don't think I have any belt or bag or anything in this material, so I'm really into this right now. This belt bag is $14, whereas something on Urban, which is literally half the size of this, is going for $30. I like this one a lot better because it has that soft plastic leather, fake leather. I don't even know what to call this material, but I like this material way better, and it has cuter trim. Look at the studs and the grommets. I love it so much. Okay, this is kind of basic because it's like, really? But I picked out these fishnet socks, which literally everyone and their mom has fishnet socks. I mean, come on. If you don't have fishnet socks, then you need to get some because guys, these are only $2. 
$2. And the one at Urban is $12. You could get six pairs of these. I haven't snagged them, haven't made a hole in them, which is pretty usual for me. I'm always snagging and ripping my stockings and my tights and stuff. So the fact that these are holding up pretty well for $2 is amazing. I picked up these black booties, like really like to do you need another pair of black booties? Yes, yes I do. Especially these ones because they have this O-ring in the front and they also have an O-ring in the back for the zipper and I just like the stud detail on it. I don't have anything like this. A favorite part of mine is that it has this ankle strap. It's still attached but it gives it that cut feel which obsessing over. These boots are $30. Urban doesn't have anything exactly like this but anything that's like studded or black booty looking was going for $80. Oh yeah and it's furry on the inside. I don't have anything like this. I love it so much. Make sure you wear socks because if not then your feet will sweat like crazy. It's like a fur coat inside of your boots. Next, I want to show you this grommet belt. I have been wearing this grommet belt a lot out lately. This one is made out of canvas material. The one on the Urban site is made out of, I think, leather or something like that. I actually think I prefer the canvas one better because it lays better in my opinion. This one is only $9. The one on the Urban site is $30. And last but not least is this Friends shirt. I saw this on the Urban site and I also saw it on the Zafool site, which is kind of what triggered, like, why don't I do this type of video for this haul? So, ta-da! The one on this full website is a similar logo. It's not exactly the same. It's so similar that it's like, why not save money and just get a friend's shirt. The one on the Zafool website is $16 and the one at Urban is $40. So if you guys want to save like $25, then get this one. <laughs> so that concludes my Urban inspired haul. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you guys like the items that I picked out. As always, I'll put the links in the description box so you guys can go ahead and check them out. This is my first time picking out items that are like similar to like a store or anything like that. So if you guys like this type of video, please give it a big thumbs up to let me know that. If you guys want to connect with me on social media, all my socials are at Tina for Rose. This is a really short outro. I usually have something to say or like something to announce, but I guess not. So I guess that's it. I love you guys all and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. She say, do you love me? I tell her only partly. I only love my bed and my mom. I'm sorry. 50 dubs.